G'day, how are you? Welcome back to the Green and Gold Life. As you can tell, she's pretty miserable here back in Radelaide at the moment, so I've got my beanie on, keeping the ears warm. <laughs> so today we're gonna to talk about soil pH. Why, as domestic lawn and garden curators, we need a correct soil pH. Mate, mate, mate. It's wicked mad important, eh? So please stick around. So where does all of our stuff grow? In the soil. So we need to make sure that we're providing the correct soil conditions for our plants and turf. Alrighty, so what is pH? pH stands for potential hydrogen. It's a measurement of how alkaline or how acidic uh, a substance can be. This is wicked mad important, eh? Because what can happen is if we don't have the correct pH for the plant, we can have nutrient lockout, which means um, the, the nutrient or the element is unavailable for use because uh, it's not dissolved. Uh, it's not there ready to be used by the plant. So pH is generally measured on a scale from zero to 14. At the zero end being mostly acidic and at the 14 being mostly alkaline or basic. It's also important to get the correct pH balance in your soil for different plant types. So for example, our turf is gonna want it at around the 6.5 to seven mark, neutral to a little bit acidic. And some plants, for example, blueberries or azaleas, love it acidic, you know, around that 5.5 mark. There's not one size fits all solution for pH levels in our soil. So having the correct pH balance in our soil for our plants will increase our yield and the function of the plant. So if you can see in the table I've just got here, I'll put it up somewhere, uh, we can see in that 6.5 to 7 range, most of our macronutrients become available. So that's why our soil pH needs to be correct. If we tip it more towards that 6.5, we're gonna pick up a little bit more iron, which is great, because that's gonna help us with our photosynthesis and whatnot. We're gonna pick up a little bit, but not all of it. Alrighty, now that shower's passed, we're gonna take a few soil samples. We're gonna grab some from the lawn, a few from the garden beds, and, uh, and just test our soil pH levels so that we can uh, increase our yields and increase our plant strength. All right, let's get at it. All right, so I'm gonna take some samples from my fruit trees here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig down to a depth of about 100 mil and take a sample from there. And I'm not just gonna take one sample, I'm gonna probably gonna take two or three along here. That way we get a, a relatively good indication throughout the whole area of what the, uh, what the pH is doing. All right, maybe just try and stay away from the base of the trees and stuff as well. We, we wanna try and limit root damage. Alrighty, I'm gonna take my sample from my lawn somewhere here. I'm having a bit of trouble with this area at the moment. It always seems a little bit yellow. So um, that could be an iron lockout, meaning maybe I'm a little bit more um, on the alkaline side, but uh, we'll see how we get on. All right. Alrighty, gonna grab a cheeky sample here as a representation for all of my ornamental garden beds. Alrighty, I'm gonna grab a sample here by the lovebirds for my front lawn. Oh yeah, check out how clay that is. Yeah mate, we're gonna need some gypsum out here. Here we are, out in the shed, back in the home away from home. You know, come down here for a little bit of peace and quiet every now and then. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the lawn. I'm pretty interested to see what's going on there. I highly suspect I might be a little bit alkaline, just because I've had dramas trying to keep my lawn nice and green, uh, which means, you know, the iron uptake isn't quite there. So, um, if I was a betting man, I'd put, it on, uh, I'd put it on a little bit alkaline. But here we go, we'll give it a, we'll give it a crack. Alrighty, so you want a, uh, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon size of material and, uh, and you don't want anything in it like uh, any thatch or stones or sticks or anything like that. So we want to add a few drops of this dye indicator to our mix. Just enough to make a paste. Not gonna lie, I feel a little bit Miami Vice at the moment, man, eh? <laughs> Break out your credit card. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty, there we go. So we've mixed it all up. Uh, yeah, it's it's looking like something I fished out of Patrick's nappy back in the day, you know. <laughs> it's not looking real. Uh, it's not looking real appetising, but it's going to tell us what our pH is. So I'm not eating it. All right. So once we've got that all mixed up into a paste, we're going to add our. Uh, we're going to add our indicator. I think it's berry, isn't it? Yeah, barium sulfate, and that'll uh, that'll indicate to us what our pH is looking like. All right, just gonna let that sit for a minute. All right, so we can't compare um, with our chart here under artificial light. We've got to take her outdoors. Go and have a look. The news is not good. It confirms my suspicions. I'm a little bit alkaline. I'm saying about the seven and a half to eight, so we've got a bit of work to do here. Um, my thoughts are maybe a little bit more humic, uh, yeah, a little bit more humic, perhaps some sulphur to try and balance that out, but definitely we need to get some more soil amendments out here. Alrighty, so we're all done. Um, I've tested all of them, uh, and I tested my lawn twice just to make sure. So uh, I've written it all down. The back lawn is somewhere around the seven and a half mark, which is no good. You know, we need that down to the seven to seven and a half mark. Uh, the fruit trees came back at seven and a half and the rear garden beds came back quite alkaline at eight and eight and a half. Front lawn came in at seven and a half and uh, the front garden beds came in at seven and a half as well. Uh, so across the board, I'm a little bit alkaline. Seven and a half is not far from the point um, where you want to be, but uh, you know, I've got, I've got winter time to try and rectify it. So. I'm going to take the next few months out in the garden there to try and get my soil looking a lot better. So when it comes summertime, mate, look out, the lawn will be springing out of the ground looking schmicko. So now that we know what our soil pH is, we need to get around to fixing her up. So how do we do that? Well, in my case for alkalinity, I'm going to try a little bit of organic matter, compost, mulch, that sort of stuff. If your soil is more acidic, so uh, anywhere between zero, oh, I hope it's not that low, and, uh, and seven, you can use lime and dolomite. They're your two solutions there to help increase your soil pH. All right, thanks heaps for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a cheeky like, and uh, please, you know, please subscribe to the channel. I'm out here most weekends putting in the hard yakka, uh, making the lawn and garden look as best as I can. Now I know what my pH is, we can, we can do what we can to try and rectify that. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for more content on garden and lawns. I've got a series coming up in winter time as well. Uh, it's mainly going to be focused around lawnmower maintenance. So as domestic turf curators, lawnmower is a pretty important tool for us to have. So, uh, so I'll be bringing out a little bit of a series on lawnmower maintenance. We got my real mower, we got my rotary mower, and we got the John Deere. So we got three plus, you know, my blower and my whipper snipper. You know, the whippy hanging up there. So, you know, we got to look after our gear. You look after your tools, I'll look after you. You know, drop a comment down below if that's something you guys think you'd like to see. Leave a comment below if there's anything you need me to cover. Um, you know, I'm open to suggestions, mate, eh? Righto, I'll catch you wrong. Wowee!